Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing a cozy clean and decorate with me. I will be giving my family room and my kitchen a little bit of a refresh. I will be using a ton of neutral colors, making these two spaces very cozy. I hope that today's video gives you some cleaning motivation as well as a few decorating ideas. So let's just get right into it. Okay, so the first area of my home that I am going to decorate is this mantle area. I've been wanting to give this a little bit of a refresh for a very long time now. So what I'm going to do is take the clock down, clean it up a little bit, and then I'm going to add my decor. And I had this really great idea after searching Pinterest. I keep seeing these layered vintage looking mirrors. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. So that is what the look is that I'm going to try to achieve here. I was going to use this extra large frame in between the layers of the mirrors, but once I had it up there, it just didn't look very good. It was just too much, so I decided not to go with that. If you guys are familiar with my channel, you will notice that this is the frame that I had in my bedroom. So I did take that out and I'm not going to put it back in my room. I decided that I'm going to do something a little bit different in there as well. That will be in another video, not today's video. But I love the way this mantle turned out. I think it looks so pretty and cozy and I love that those mirrors add a little bit of reflection because this area of the room only has one window and there isn't a lot of light and I feel like those mirrors kind of added more light over here. So right now Target is pulling out all of their spring decor and I just happened to find this vine. It's like a fern vine and it was only $12.99 and I love it. I think it looks very lifelike. So I thought I would add it up here with the mirrors and maybe during the springtime and the summer I can add some floral pieces to this. I'm not quite sure if I want to do that or not, but that is definitely an idea. I love the way this looks. It just softens up this wall here with all of the whites and I just think it looks so pretty. So I love the way this looked, but I really wanted to add a tiny bit of warmth over here because it is very white and it just has that tiny little pop of green. So I thought adding these wooden candlesticks would definitely do the trick and it did. I think everything looks so pretty and I'm not going to add any more to this. I did find those candlesticks at Home Goods. I want to say last year, maybe last fall. I'm not quite sure I don't remember but I did buy those at home goods and then for the mirrors I just shopped my house so since I'm giving this living room or family room a refresh I really thought it was time to take my slip cover off and give it a good washing so that's exactly what I did I did make this slip cover from drop cloth and I do not have any type of uh, video for that I'm sorry I honestly had no idea what I was doing when I made it so I wasn't really wanting to film something that could have been a complete disaster. But you can find so many ideas over on Pinterest. If I can find one, I will link it in my description box. Okay, so I did take a tiny break and I went through the whole wash and dry cycle and my slip cover is cleaned now. So I'm just going to place this back on my sofa. If you are new to my channel and this is the very first video that you are watching of mine, I just want to say thank you. I am extremely appreciative that you are taking the time out of your day to watch one of my videos. 
and I truly hope that you do consider subscribing to my channel as well. Also, you are probably going to want to follow me over on my Instagram. I post a ton over there and decorating is definitely my thing. So if our styles are very similar, I would absolutely love to have you. And if you are new, stop by in the comments and just say hello. I love getting to know each and every one of you. Now I'm going to finish off this sofa and make it look super cozy with lots of pillows and a cozy throw. I did find the larger pillow covers off of Amazon. Unfortunately, they are no longer available, but if I can find a similar look, I will leave those linked in my description box. And then I found this faux fur throw at HomeGoods and that middle pillow was also found at home goods it's very cozy looking it has a little bit of a boho feel to it i absolutely love all the textures that i added to this sofa and then those two um, beige floral pillows i found those off of amazon and i will leave those linked in my description box as well I can go through it. Okay, so now I'm just gonna add a little bit of decor to this ottoman that I have sitting in front of the sofa. I found the basket at Home Goods. That vintage looking mirror was found at an antique store, and then I think I purchased the uh, unscented candles at Target. Okay, so now I'm going to head on into the kitchen area and I'm going to add a tiny bit of decor over here on this hutch area. It just kind of sits off of the kitchen. I love kind of transforming this little area to fit each season and I wanted to stick with the neutrals and the whites over here. So I added some baskets up on the top as well as a cake plate. And then inside the cake plate, I'm going to add some really pretty white flowers. I'm just adding a tiny little, I think it's a candle holder that I added underneath that cake plate to give it some more height. And then I thought I would add more of those white flowers down in that open space and I am finished. I only added a touch of decor over here and I feel like it really warmed things up and it kept it very neutral. I love the way this turned out. I think it looks really pretty and very simple. Now I'm going to head on into the kitchen area and I'm just going to decorate this bottom shelf with some white vases. I'm going to also add some stacked little saucers and a milk glass piece 
I think it's like an ashtray or a candy dish and I think it just looks really pretty and simple. And then over here, this is the valance that I had up for Christmas. It is like a red and white ticking and I wanted to add something really soft and very neutral. So I decided to add this valance that I made a few years ago and it didn't seem to quite fit. So what I did was I just added some double sided sticky tape and just kind of stuck that to the sides to kind of pull it out a little bit so it just kind of fit the window a little bit better. And then here in this little box, it's like a planter box that I have by the window. I just took out my Christmas pieces. There were some red berries in there and I just left the white flowers and I thought that looked perfect just the way it was. So I'm really curious what you guys do in your home if you like to decorate throughout the seasons and what you do between Christmas and Valentine's Day or between Christmas and springtime or winter and springtime. This year I am not going to decorate for Valentine's Day. I did decorate last year a little bit but I am just over the reds and the bright pinks for now and I really 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 love the neutral colors so I'm just gonna stick with the neutrals for now and then probably at the end of February beginning of March I'm going to do some spring decor in here and I will have a lot of decorating content out soon I plan on decorating at least three or four more rooms and I cannot wait to share those with you as well as a home tour I love to do just a regular everyday home tour every single year those are my favorite types of videos to share with you guys so be on the lookout for that that should be coming out in a couple weeks and that is it for today's video i hope that you guys all enjoyed i hope it gave you some decorating ideas as well as some cleaning motivation if you are new to my channel i would love it if you clicked that red subscribe button before you left Make sure that you leave me a thumbs up before you go, and I hope you guys all have an amazing day. I will see you in the next one. Bye.